Hi you guys, how you doing? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, okay, these days the hot topic everywhere, whenever, for me, not for everybody of course, but whenever I post a video, a story or anything without makeup, or basically I'm starting a makeup video without uh, makeup on, you see my skin, right? And everybody's like, your skin has improved so much. Touch wood, touch wood a hundred times. Touch wood, don't give me nazar. Don't, I don't want any nazar. And everybody has been asking me what I've been doing for my skin. And I was not ready to talk about it because it's a journey which has been going on since a really, really long time. And it's very, very personal to me. But then there are a lot of questions these days. So I thought I'll show you the products which I've used, I've been using, which have helped me like, you know, control my acne and reduce my pigmentation. But before that, I do want to give out few disclaimers or few pointers which you have to know so it will be a little longer one but it is important for you to know those points before we start actually talking about the products so if you guys don't know i have pcod i've been having pcod or pcos since i was 14 or 15 since the time i started getting my period i i, I discovered that i have pcos i, I went to a gynecologist back then I, I was a person who got my period like every six months and uh, if not like more than six months sometimes it was I don't know there's a lot of reasons I don't know what it was it could be my weight it could be lack of exercise not eating good different reasons back then I did not know what it was I was 15 neither did my mom neither did they, neither did you know the doctor they all they said was uh, just lose weight and you'll be good just you know go for a walk and you'll be good but I've just lately discovered in the past two or three years that is so much more than that and I had to discover what works for me and keep, to keep my PCOD under uh, a check so so a couple of things I always, uh, you know, talk about is my diet. I, I have a dairy-free diet like most of the days, maybe once in a week. I tend to have dairy that's also when, when I go out and you know I want to eat something it has dairy I do end up eating I, I don't have like literal milkshakes or ice creams because at this point I've been off dairy since so long if I have them I just feel very bloated and I cannot take this but you know let's say I'm having tacos and there's cheese in it or the, let's say I'm having a pizza there's cheese in it right so you know that type I, I still do have once in a while but of course when I do have that I do still have the side effects it's it's a, I try to you know basically maintain the balance so one of my major symptoms for pcod is insulin resistance so that's the reason like anything heavy in carbs if i take heavy in carbs that day is very gloomy everything everything wrong which can go can happen will happen to me that day so that is one and then second is my skin is like a roller coaster ride it's amazing few months it's first few months and the amazing months just go by taking care of all the damage the bad months have done and these are the products which usually you know help me get rid of that so you know it's a roller coaster ride it happens every year even you know especially during these months um the month of july to october is the worst month for my skin basically this humidity and the monsoon season i hate it my skin hates it and since the past three years it's been happening that this phase my skin gets so rough but this time touch wood touch wood uh my skin is doing okay i mean i do have few breakouts because like currently i'm on my period so i had this huge breakout here all this area even this area had a lot of breakouts recently but it is not as bad as what it used to happen previously also one more thing is last year ending my acne had gotten so worse everything in my body had just gotten so worse i knew something was wrong and i i was under medication for some time because like you know i i had this previously also like i i don't have hormones imbalance usually people who have pcod have hormones imbalance i don't have that i've got tested before also my hormones are are like in the limits only but my skin or my body is apparently very sensitive to the hormones i the little bit of hormones i have as well so i do have like unwanted hair excess you know oiliness basically breakouts hair fall i should have a lot of hair fall and i was under medication before and now i had to go see an endocrine endocrinologist again and i was under medication so of course definitely that also you know helped control a lot of things after getting my acne under control i had this whole issue of like you know healing my skin and taking care of all the pigmentation the acne scars etc this is something which just helps me keep my skin on check and help me get rid of all the acne pigmentation scarring whatever all the pre previous breakouts had left yeah so that was a little long but i 
really want to tell you guys that because skin is very very personal i would no influencer no creator no nobody can tell you about skin as well as a dermat can so if you have skin issues please go see a dermatologist sometimes yes one doctor does not work second one does not work go see multiple ones or sometimes when you go to a dermatologist first time they gave something it did not work you go back to them and tell that it did not work so that they can give you a substitute they generally give something which works for most of them and your skin might be different so you know you can go ask it is not working for me give me something else you have to work around it it's not not always like you know first try works everything go don't go to me also or some any other influencer and ask you know i have certain skin issues please tell me what to do we can't tell you guys we are here only to try products and tell if it's working but we cannot tell if it'll actually work for your skin so you know please go see a dermatologist if you have major skin issues so that being said let's get started and i'll talk about the products which i like Okay, so the first product I want to talk about this product and just get it out of the way because I've spoken about this so many times and at this point I feel you guys will be like shut up don't talk about it. Uh but yeah this one is the ordinary niacinamide. I swear by the serum this had helped me so much reducing everything acne and scarring. I love this one. I always always have a backup of this one. Beautiful beautiful serum. There are a couple of products which I've spoken about this about before that couple I've not and these are mind you only the products which help reduce the pigmentation there are of course there are products more i use for like you know cleanser cleansing oil serums hydrating serums etc but these are the serums which help reduce the acne pigmentation and scarring i'm only concentrating on those products in this video so one of them is the ordinary 10% niacinamide plus zinc 1% beautiful it will reduce pigmentation it will hydrate your skin it will reduce the sebum production in your skin so that your skin does not get more oily and you break out more it's a beautiful overall serum this is one such niacinamide i really really like and then one more niacinamide i absolutely love is this dr shades one this is also 10% niacinamide 1% zinc i know literally everybody these days is coming out with the niacinamide and everything since the ordinary everybody is releasing but it's also a good thing that, that we have so much access like plum has also come out with a new niacinamide i've been meaning to try that one as well you know every brand these days has an niacinamide but this one is something i really really like as well so these two products amazing if you have acne especially you have like pigmentation a lot of excessive oil in your skin these are products you would love 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 so one more niacinamide i want to talk about is the dermacos niacinamide serum now this one is 15% niacinamide but the one i used is 10% i actually did not use it in me i used it on public i'll put you put here before before and after you can see such visible difference in her skin she has a lot of pigmentation so i was like i had the serum lying around and i did not want to use it on myself because it had so much fragrance and my skin cannot take it i was like i'll try it on her and see if it's actually working like i raplavika skin does not like have any issues with fragrance or anything so for on her the pigmentation got reduced so much and it worked very very uh, beautifully on her but now they do have fragrance free versions of it so i you know got the uh, 15% one and i really want to try this one on my skin and so if you want like two indian options one is dr shade one more is one more is dermaco and one more thing i do also want to point out is that i've used these products for consistently to 6 to 8 months it took me 8 to 10 months almost to get rid of my pigmentation i've started like my medication or my acne started getting on control like last year november or december and now my skin has been showing some improvement so you can say it's been 10 months almost that i've been consistently taking care of my skin applying good products on it so the pigmentation is slowly starting to reduce i've just got one chemical peel done i've also posted a video about it but that also was almost 6 months ago and i just got one done one does not make major difference but yes i did get one uh, retinol chemical yellow peel done basically and nothing else like treatment wise everything else is just skin care so the next one i really like and i've almost like you know gone through or just a little, little bit is left i've been using it for the past 3 months the dr shade amla 20% vitamin c serum really really love this one so i do have one more video where i've spoken about the products which have helped me reduce my pigmentation a couple of years ago and all those products i still swear by i leave a link here you can check the, the that one out beautiful beautiful products these are a little more add on to that list this one has 20% vitamin c which can be a little strong for somebody who's just starting off so start off with something like a class 5% vitamin c I, the link video i link that one has a lot of products which i've spoken 
spoken about for beginners as well so that one is really nice then once you've like you know a skin is getting used to it then you can switch to something 10% and then you can come to 20% i've been using vitamin c's for like almost like one or two years now and i've so i started using this one and i really really like this one every day morning i apply this and i apply my sunscreen and i'm good to go so literally those are the only serums i honestly regularly use which target my acne scar pigmentation issue the next four products i'm going to talk about are exfoliants so if you're trying to fight pigmentation and you don't have any chemical exfoliants in your skin then trust me it's going to be really long process for you to get rid of your pigmentation so it, it helps exfoliate the top layer of the skin especially AHAs so it you know gets your new skin to the surface that your skin appears a lot more uh, brighter so they need to be a part of your skincare regime the first one i have and this one i started using recently but i really really like is the deconstruct beginners exfoliating serum so this is five percent lactic acid so it's amazing for anybody who's just starting out to use uh chemical exfoliant so this is an aha which basically again exfoliates the top layer of your skin a beautiful one it has five percent aha lactic acid 1.5% uh, probiotic I really like this one I use it every other day I don't use it every day I very careful that I don't over exfoliate uh, my skin and that's something a lot of people do because they have acne they be like you know I have to exfoliate every day I have to do this I have to do that I've done that mistakes and I don't do it anymore I make sure I don't like, over exfoliate my skin I use it every other uh, day and I really really like it so if you're a beginner who's just going to start getting into AHAs then this is a good one lactic acid is a very like you know gentle AHA as well uh, the next one is again a lactic acid one but it's a peel from this is again from Dr. Shea's honestly the new range from Dr. Shea's which is all the scientifically no fragrance no oil versions I really really love uh, there's this allopanthenol gel I really love the toner I really love Th these are basically see even if they don't like you know magically repair their skin they're at least not going to damage the skin that is something i really love but of course these three products are something which work and i've been using them so this one is uh, licorice and lactic acid peel this is almost over this is their 8.8 percent .8 lactic acid 2 percent niacinamide uh, licorice extract calendula extract so i use this as the peel now i've been using this recently since a month only so prior to that i was using this one so i use it every three days i don't use it every day i don't apply it like you know they say you you can apply it like a uh, normal serum every day or you can use it like a complete peel mask and wash it off after 10 minutes and I, I use it as a mask leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes and wash it off I do this twice a week and it's been good and gentle to my skin I've been you know trying products which are more gentle I don't need to like be so aggressive and use like 100 different like so strong acids this is gentle but it does the job and I really like it so the last two products I have of course we spoke about AHAs now it's time to talk about BHAs so the two BHAs I absolutely love these are a little expensive but they last a really long time like I've been using this for two months and you can see that I've just used so much you just need a teeny tiny bit and they do the job so the, these two ones I really like this is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant this is double the price of this this is still a little ex less expensive and this is the Cosrx BH Blackhead BHA Black It Power Liquid both of these beautiful BHAs so I've tried a few other BHAs here and there but I never really liked anything more than uh, these two you get this on Amazon you get this on Limes Connect and I do really enjoy uh, both of them they basically BHAs are something which exfoliate your skin from within so I'm a person who wears a lot of makeup so I have to like you know cleanse my pores every now and then so I use these every all three days again I don't use it every day I can use it every day if I want to but I just feel it is not necessary for me to use it every day so I kind of like you know mix and match whatever my skin needs at, at that particular day so yeah those are the products I do not want to have like a long list of it Ki I use this I use that I wanted to keep it short because I did not want it to be overwhelming and honestly these are the products I've been using very consistently for my pigmentation and it has reduced that means these do work okay one more last thing I'm gonna say is that it does not matter what skincare you use it can be the most expensive product it's working amazing you're you're done PRP micro micro needling or whatever treatment you've done to your skin any chemical peel does not matter or doesn't is, is just 
of no use if you do not wear sunscreen sun damage is so real and sun can instantly trigger your pigmentation so you have to have to be very careful especially indian skin tones pigmentation just comes like this sometimes you'll be like oh i'm just going for half an hour i will not wear it oh i'm just going for 10 minutes like i'll just come back i'm not there's no sun but it affects your skin so much so it does not matter what all these products use and especially for somebody who wants to get into chemical exfoliants or you're already into chemical exfoliants and you do not wear a sunscreen your skin is going to get more more damaged because these things kind of sensitize your skin and if you wear these and you go out without you know wearing sunscreen it's just going to cause more harm than uh, good and you have to have to be patient with your skin skin care is not something which just happens overnight or even a month it takes months and months for your skin to heal it took me almost 10 months and i'm still not where i want to be but it is in a better place and i'm thankful for that and i don't want any nazar but yeah these are the few products i wanted to talk to you guys about none of this is sponsored i hope this video helps you and i hope it answers some of your uh, questions because i've been getting these a uh, uh, lot and yeah that's it for this video i will see you guys in another one make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye, bye.